Hello everyone, welcome back to yoga. My name is Zoe. Enjoy this footage of me setting up the room while I tell you about today's flow. So today we're going to do a simple 10 minute or so flow together. Um, this includes a lot of the basic yoga postures and it's really a great warm up or cool down for a different flow or workout. So we'll just start here, seated in a head over heart over pelvis posture, again with that nice tall spine. Starting with some neck rolls, so tucking that chin to chest, picking a direction to start, just remembering to switch directions at some point. Should we feel any tension throughout our movement, just pause and send some breaths to that point of tension along our movement. All right. After our neck rolls, we're going to come through some shoulder rolls here. So for me, I like to pick my arms up kind of like train arms and exaggerate this movement, but that is totally optional. Again, making sure we switch directions, but really bringing those shoulders up towards our ears, pinching those shoulder blades together, and then reversing afterwards. Nice, y'all. Dropping those shoulders back away from our ears. Let's extend that right arm overhead. Find a gentle lean towards the left and hold. And then we'll take that other arm up, our left arm. Find a gentle lean towards the right. Back to center here. We'll go ahead and come through some seated cat cows. So we exhale, dome our back, tuck our chin to chest. We inhale, arch our back, bring our gaze slightly forward. Take a few, again, at your own pace. All right, take a moment, shake it out, do whatever else feels like it needs to happen for you to be ready for class. And we'll meet in tabletop. So wrists stacked under shoulders, knees stacked under hips, taking full cat cows here. So again, we inhale, drop our belly, hips rise, gaze is forward. We exhale, dome our back, tuck our hips, gaze comes to the top of our mat. Taking a few at your own pace. Again, we inhale, drop our belly for cow, exhale, dome our back for our cat pose. All right, finishing up with these cat cows here, we're gonna move in to thread the needle. So starting with that right arm, we'll extend it overhead, let our gaze follow. Exhale, we'll tuck it between the space of our left hand, left knee. Option one, we can hover there. Option two, we can drop down, let that right shoulder meet the mat and hang out here in this stretch. We can also take the option with that free hand to find a half bind or tuck it around the small of our back, which I'll show you on the opposite side here. When we're ready, we'll press up through that left hand, extend right back to the sky, and then find tabletop. Same thing on that left side, extend that arm overhead. Option one, thread it through and hover. Option two, let that shoulder meet the map. And then, like I said, we can use that free hand to find a half bind if it's comfortable and find a stretch in both shoulders here. Go ahead and press up through that right hand whenever we are ready, extending that left arm back to the sky and taking our tabletop. All right, from here, we're gonna go ahead and extend our right leg long behind us, take about a 90 degree bend in that knee, and then just find some hip circles here, making sure to take them both directions, switching at some point, just really loosening that hip, preparing for some more movement here. Same thing with that left leg, extend it, Add that bend and then circle our hip out. All 
So moving through a downward dog here, let's first make sure we have ample space between our fingertips. We'll get on the balls of our feet and press our hips to the sky here. Adding in some organic movement to start warming up this motion, we can pedal those feet out. Maybe add some hip pumps in. Remembering to actively press away from the mat here so we don't collapse into those shoulders. And remember, you can always add blocks under those hands. Alright, sending that gaze between our hands, stepping our feet forward for a forward fold. Go ahead and let opposite hand find opposite elbow here for what we call a ragdoll forward fold. We can go ahead and find some gentle movement side to side here, really letting gravity do the bulk of the work for us. Alright, we'll inhale, let our gaze rise back as flat for halfway lift. Exhale, we round forward. And inhale, we'll go ahead and rise, sending those arms overhead with us into a mountain pose here. Exhale, bringing those hands heart center once more through like that. We'll inhale our arms overhead. Exhale, hands come heart center. We'll fold at those hips and then round down for forward fold. Planting those hands so adding a bend should we need it and stepping back for plank. Drop those knees if we need. Exhale to lower here. Inhale for our cobra or variation of cobra. So one variation is sphinx on those forearms or upward dog on the tops of those feet here. Take a breath. And let's round up back through our downward dog, hips to the sky here. This time we'll invite that right foot to go ahead and peel up off the mat in our three-legged dog, whether that's full extension or just a few inches. We'll exhale that foot in between our hands, setting up for Crescent Warrior One. We'll rise once we're grounded. On our exhale, we'll rotate that back foot so it's parallel at the short end of our mat warrior two and then flipping that palm to the sky leaning into our reverse warrior exhale framing that foot and stepping back for our plank again drop those knees should we need it exhale to lower and take our cobra or variation rounding back through that downward dog this time we'll lift that left leg for our three-legged dog. And same deal, we'll exhale to thread through here. Inhale, when grounded we rise. Exhale, we rotate back into warrior two. Inhale, flip our hand into reverse warrior. Exhale, framing that front foot. Step back for our plank, exhale lower, inhale lift. Exhaling into that downward dog once more here. Bringing our gaze up, stepping to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, root to rise. Bringing those hands heart center. Exhale, fold at those hips, then round through forward fold. Step back for our plank. And let's actually just sit back into a child's pose here. So moving our knees about as wide as the mat or as far as is comfortable, sitting back through our hips and letting our arms reach out overhead. Taking a couple deep breaths. Resetting here. And when we feel ready, pressing back up through our tabletop, 
And then just heading into Varasana or Hero's Pose, sitting on top of those feet, or just come crisscross if this is uncomfortable. Lacing those fingers, palm facing towards us, let's round our back here, feeling a stretch, driving those shoulder blades apart. And on our inhale, we can arch that back, either flip those palms away from us, or we can opt to reach around back as if we're grabbing an imaginary beach ball behind us here, opening through that chest. Taking a couple neck circles, just resetting, remembering to stop and add some love anywhere that there might be a bit of tension. From here, we'll go ahead and inhale our arms overhead together. Exhale to float down. Two more just like that. Inhale overhead. Exhale down. Last one, we inhale overhead. Exhale those hands to heart center. Maybe reflecting on our class, setting an intention for the day. Thanks so much for joining me, y'all. Again, this was a, I don't know, 10 or so minute quick flow together. I thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for this class. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.